So if I were to ask you, what do police in America look like? What do you think of? What comes to mind? You're probably thinking of an officer in a uniform, a heavy belt full of gadgets, and a badge in a patrol car. Responding to calls, arresting suspects, pulling people over for various infractions. Seems simple enough, right? But is this what all police in America look like? Do county sheriffs appear and act similar to the U.S. Marshals? Or state park police? Or highway patrol? Not so much. Police officers work in a wide range of settings, and what they actually do depends on where they work and what type of agency they work for. Policing in a city is not going to be the same as in the country, or in the suburbs. Police on college campuses don't have the same job as police working across the U.S. border. And there are not just uniform police. There are also police working... Why did you come under? I'm an undercover cop. Police in private communities. Working in fusion centers across national borders with other countries, and police with administrative responsibilities. Some look at all crime, others focus exclusively on one particular type of crime problem, like fraud, human trafficking, cybercrime, or the counterfeiting of consumer products. And others work primarily on crime prevention, protection, training, community building, and in schools as resource officers. To say that policing in America is incredibly decentralized is definitely an understatement. There are over 900,000 police officers working in about 18,000 different agencies across several jurisdictional levels, federal, state, county, and municipal cities and towns. In addition, there are also over 1,700 what are known as special jurisdiction agencies, where approximately 57,000 officers work in very specifically defined areas. These include transportation, airports, subways, train stations, waterways, conservation officers, park rangers, game wardens, enforcing natural resource, wildlife, and marine laws, officers working for colleges and universities, schools, and hospitals. There are also around 3,000 officers working for over 200 agencies enforcing laws on land controlled by American Indian tribes. In addition, although far less prominent than they were in the past, there are also constables and marshals, 3,500 sworn officers working across 600 different agencies. What they do depends on the jurisdiction. Some are the equivalent of local police, others have a more limited role, such as carrying out court orders, serving warrants and summons. These special jurisdiction agencies and officers are often forgotten when discussing police, so it's important to mention them up front. Let's look more closely at the primary police jurisdiction levels, starting with local municipal police. This is where most police officers work. Over 475,000 full-time officers across 12,000 different agencies of varying size, from the New York Police Department, NYPD, by far the largest, with over 36,000 officers, more than three times as many as the next largest, Chicago, with about 13,000, and three others, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, and Houston, have over 5,000 officers. The experience of officers working at one of these extremely large departments is very unique and not representative of what most police agencies agencies in America look like. To put it in perspective, these five agencies represent 0.0004% of all the police agencies in America, even though 15% of officers work at one of them. These officers have a very different experience from officers working at an agency with, say, less than 10 officers. These smaller agencies represent just over half of all local police agencies. And even within these smaller agencies, experiences still vary widely. It's very different to work with eight other officers as opposed to being one of about 1,500 officers who are the sole full-time officer at their agency. Still, only 0.3% of officers work at one of these very, very small agencies. Three-fourths of local police agencies have somewhere between 2 and 49 officers. Just over a quarter of all local police officers work at one of these agencies. And another quarter work at an agency with somewhere between 50 and 249 officers. While everyone else works at a mid to large size agency with somewhere between 250 and 999 officers. So that's the local level. Then there is the county level. These are the sheriff's departments, over 3,000 of them, one in each county across the nation. Sheriff's offices are run by, well, the sheriff, the only remaining law enforcement position in the nation that is elected as opposed to appointed. Like local police, the experiences of officers working in a county sheriff's office can vary widely. 
Sheriff's offices mostly handle the same law enforcement duties as local police, which is where three out of five sworn officers are assigned, but they also provide security for the courthouse and operate the jail, which about three-fourths of sheriff's offices are responsible for. Over 180,000 officers, called deputies, are employed by a county sheriff. Three out of five work for a department with somewhere between 50 and 999 officers, which account for about a quarter of all sheriff's offices. Another 22% work for departments with less than 50 officers. Smaller sheriff's offices like this are by far the most common. Over three-fourths are of this smaller size. But nearly the same number of deputies, about 18%, work for a sheriff's office with over 1,000 officers, even though less than one-half of 1% of all county sheriff's offices are this large. On average, sheriff's departments tend to be larger than local police agencies, which is largely a reflection of the many smaller local police agencies with only one sworn officer, which isn't as prominent at the county level. When you call 911, it's most likely that a county sheriff or local police officer is who will respond. But depending on what state you live in, there's also a chance it could be a state police officer as well. Each of the 50 states have some type of police agency with jurisdiction across the entire state. About 60,000 officers, commonly referred to as troopers, work at one of these state agencies, the largest being in California with 7,000 troopers and North Dakota, the smallest, with less than 200. But what they do, the scope of their authority, what they concentrate on, is very different depending on what type of agency the state has. Half the states have full state police agencies that look very much like a local police agency or county sheriff, but at the state level. If you call the police in a state with a state police, there's a chance that a state trooper could show up. The other half do not have a state police, but instead a highway patrol, which focus primarily on highway traffic enforcement and any criminal activity that occurs on or immediately adjacent to the highways. So they can venture out if it pertains to the scope of their responsibility to the highway system, but they aren't answering calls for service like a state police agency. So far, all the officers we've discussed work under state law, but it's entirely different at the federal level, where about 100,000 officers in 73 different federal agencies work exclusively under federal law. Many federal officers appear differently from their state and local counterparts and don't have the same roles and responsibilities, although there is certainly some overlap. The vast majority, about four out of five, are employed in two different federal departments, the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security. About one-fourth of federal police officers work for the OJ. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, is the largest and most well-known agency with jurisdiction over 200 different federal crimes. The second largest is the U.S. Marshals Service, America's oldest law enforcement agency, first established in 1789. Each of the 94 federal court districts has a marshal, supported by about 4,000 deputy marshals, responsible for apprehending fugitives, protecting the federal courts and key government witnesses, and securing and transporting federal inmates. Then there is the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, focusing exclusively on the manufacturing and trafficking of illicit drugs, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives, ATF, handling illegal firearms, bombings, and arsons. But most federal officers don't work under the DOJ, but instead are part of the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, which was first established after 9-11 and consolidated 22 different federal agencies under one umbrella. Over 90% of DHS officers handle immigration and customs in some capacity. Nearly three-fourths work for Customs and Border Protection, CBP, handling border security and crossings of people and contraband. This includes 21,000 patrolling the U.S., Mexico, and U.S.-Canada borders, and another 21,000 at official ports of entry, air and sea ports, and other border crossings. The other major DHS agency is Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. They handle investigations of persons suspected of being in the U.S. illegally, but also human trafficking, trafficking of illicit goods, and related fraud and financial crimes. About 7,000 ICE agents are assigned to Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, the primary investigatory arm of DHS. Although not exactly equivalent, you could think of HSI as the FBI of Homeland Security. Then about 4,500 officers work for the Secret Service, which protects vital U.S. assets, beginning with the counterfeiting of U.S. currency when it was first created in 1865. They are now most well known for providing security detail for key U.S. officials, including the president, vice president, and their families. So then, where do the other federal officers work? Well, all over, and some places that might surprise you. 
There are officers working for conservation agencies, the forest, fish and wildlife, and national park services. Officers protecting the legislative and judicial branches, the U.S. Capitol Police and Supreme Court Police. Then there are officers working for the bureaus of diplomatic security, Indian affairs and land management, the IRS, Internal Revenue Service, Veterans Health Administration, the Postal Service, the National Nuclear Security Administration, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Mint, Amtrak, and I'm sure I'm missing some. So what federal police officers do is quite diverse. And not included here are other federal officers who work for different branches of the U.S. military, the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, and other classified designations, like the Air Marshals. Let's briefly touch on international police. Interpol, short for the International Criminal Police Organization, is the primary example. Unlike the other police agencies we've discussed, Interpol does not have its own police officers. Its main role is coordination and support for the efforts of other law enforcement agencies across different countries. So any officers working with Interpol have their own home agencies. A little different, but still important to point out. And finally, there are what are sometimes referred to as private police. Over 10,000 different companies employing over a million people working in private security, executive and asset protection, private investigations, and contract employees working for the military, criminal justice, or other government agencies. Now, you might be thinking, they shouldn't be referred to as police. And that's certainly a fair and debatable point. But even though they're not the same as public police, they still fulfill many of the same functions and work closely alongside them. So it's still worth inserting them into the conversation. As you can see, the answer to the question of what police in America look like and what they do isn't as simple and straightforward as it may first appear. And there's so much more, how they're organized, their operations and functions, the history, training, education, recruitment, subculture, police race relations, corruption and misconduct, legal decisions, technology, so many others. What do you want to know more about?